Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Whitney Huddleston with 6 News. One of the defining moments of 2024 is coming up very soon on April 8th. We want to get you prepared and informed with a series of Eclipse 101 primers before the big day. In part two of our Eclipse 101 series, we're going to discuss the four different types of eclipses, total, annular, partial, and hybrid. A total solar eclipse, like the one we'll see on April 8th, is when the moon passes between the sun and our Earth. Some locations, such as Central Texas, will be in the shadow of the moon and those lucky folks who will see totality for around four minutes. We will see the sun's corona during this time frame, which is usually blocked by the bright face of the sun. What will it look like on April 8th? In comparison to 2017's eclipse and the one we saw a few months ago, it'll be significantly darker outside. You can expect conditions similar to sunrise or sunset if we have a sunny day. Expect a little more dramatic of a contrast, although it'll still be a sight to see and remember, even if we see cloudy weather. In October of last year, we saw an annular eclipse, which occurs when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, but at its furthest point from the earth. Because of that, the moon doesn't completely cover the sun like what we see with a total eclipse. You can expect to see a dark disk with a ring around it. Remember that, of course, with any eclipse, you'll want to keep your solar eclipse glasses on to safely be able to look up and enjoy the experience. Now, a partial eclipse can happen during a solar and annular eclipse. You can expect a partial eclipse if you're located just outside of the area where there's a shadow from the moon. You'll see part of the sun covered, which will look like a crescent shape. Our last type of solar eclipse is a hybrid one. Because of the curvature of our Earth, an eclipse can switch between an annual and a total eclipse as it moves across. The next time this will occur will be in 2031. As we gear up for the big day this year, a reminder that six news crews, including myself, will be across Central Texas on April 8th, broadcasting live through the event. We hope you'll join us. Until then, don't forget to check out all of our Eclipse-related content on 6 Plus, YouTube, KCE, and TV.com, and of course on Texas Today or News 5, 6, and 10. Don't forget to tune in to 6 Plus next week when Chief Meteorologist Matt Farrell will be talking about what eclipses we will see in the future. For now, I'm Whitney Huddleston, 6 News Weather, here to help.